It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Dolphins and the Chargers. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. GA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Today, it's the opener of the 2023 NFL season. It's going to be the Miami Dolphins taking on the LA Chargers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Well, CD, new season is here. The Lions and Chiefs got it going on Thursday night. You and I were there. What a scene that was. But now here we are a few days later on Sunday, looking at two teams with great expectations here to begin 2023. It's always fun to get a new season started, isn't it, partner? Because everyone feels like they've got a shot at the defending champs. They think that they... So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Throwing first play is Herbert. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Williams. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Now the seven-year veteran, Austin Eckler. Oh, he breaks a tackle, and he's got an alley. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. Herbert on first down now. That is caught. It's Williams. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. That's good for 28 yards. This is shaping up to be a really nice-looking drive to get the season underway here. And how long do you think that they actually have been plotting this drive? I'm talking about the coaching staff, right? They've been thinking about this for a while now, and I think they're executing it even better than what they expected. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler taking it in from the 20. And the Chargers are on the board here first in the season opener. Excellent start there. First drive of the season. Big time success putting it in the end zone. And remember, that was done without. The Charger drive about to get going. And one of the things we like to hit on every year are the new rule changes. And we got a few for 2023. A lot are procedural, having to do with deadlines and roster construction and such. But, but two kind of caught my eye, Charles. One is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college. You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. I want to have something different. And I really wanted the special teams coach to be a little bit more involved. I do understand why the league is doing it. They believe it promotes safety, and it's hard to argue against that. What about, this is the other one, guys can now wear the number zero. We've already seen some make the switch. Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Swift, Braxton Berrios, amongst others. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Chargers are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. The Charger drive about to get going. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. The 71 yards rushing for him in this first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. Eckler has long been one of the most underrated players in the NFL, but he's now starting to get his due. 915 yards, a career best last season with 13 touchdowns on the ground. From the 50, here's Herbert. For Keenan Allen, that's complete. And the 
Jones hold here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And we pause for an injury here. It looks like it's, yeah, it's Keenan Allen who's in some pain down there. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. Now Herbert off the bootleg. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, such a great week one matchup here, the Dolphins and Chargers. And fairly or unfairly, these two QBs are going to be measured against one another probably for the rest of their careers. Remember, Tua was the number five overall pick in 2020, and Justin Herbert followed him at number six. And let's add on to it because Joe Burrow went number one overall. He's led Cincinnati to one Super Bowl appearance. Jordan Love, also a first rounder, getting his opportunity in 2023. And Jalen Hurts was a second rounder with Philadelphia, and he's made it to the Super Bowl. So all in all, quite a class. Two in the Dolphins offense getting ready to. All right, the offense back on the field here. Let's see what they can do on this play. Herbert off of play action. A quick throw there is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown, Chargers. Down for him. 50 yards. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, it's only week one, CD, but right now, this offense, they look in mid-season form. And what we're seeing is the benefits of all their depth. So this offense will head back out there already in excellent field position thanks to the interception. After the turnover, here's Herbert. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. They're going to go toss right side with Eckler. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Chargers are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April. And May. The Charger drive about to get going. They've had a very solid first half, and as we near the end of that first half, they're just looking for a little more on top of their lead right now. And when you put together a game plan, there he goes left side. For a Charger touchdown. Josh Palmer, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Chargers are able to add on to their first half lead. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to end. So we are in the final minute now of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. On first down, it's Herbert. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. This is caught by Williams. Now inside the 25, Mike Williams, touchdown! Mike Williams, as the first half is winding down, and the Chargers will extend their lead here just before halftime. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed in. Charger drive about to get going. 
And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. They'll find Williams on the slant. Shedding the tackle, and it gives him some room. Inside the 10, touchdown Chargers. Mike Williams with now three week one touchdowns. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. This offense, they were dynamic in the first half. The halftime break, that didn't slow them down at all. Big strike here in the third quarter. It's almost as if... Football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first and 10, Herbert. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. On second down, Eckler. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 101 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in the season opener. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four on second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and wing in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Once more, here's Eckler. There he goes, right side. Austin Eckler, touchdown LA. Austin Eckler with now three week one touchdowns. And the Chargers are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. But go ahead and give him the hat trick. He's been in the end zone now three times. You, you toss your fedora first, okay? You go ahead and do that. But let's be honest about it. That third one, that's the most spectacular run he's had. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. On first down, Justin Herbert. There's a short throw to his tight end, McKinney. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that's gonna bring up second down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. But their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit, but as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. And his kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. But ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points. But the Charger drive about to get going. And this is really the start to the season that you're hoping for if you're a coach or a player. They've got the big lead here in the fourth quarter. And now can really take some time off the clock. 
He pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards, second down. And they'll come up second and seven. Herbert will give this one to Eckler, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. I think all teams probably like seeing that schedule for the first time. Looking at week one, oh good, we're at home. This is why you want to be home in week one. They're looking sharp. And I agree with you totally. That's what you want. But there carries a little extra pressure with that as well because you and I both know protecting the home field, winning. The Charger drive about to get going. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Second and ten. Eckler now between the tackles. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Boy, 196 yards on the ground for him so far. A yard all they need, but it's third down. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And his guys are going to take over at the third. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for 